What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute dumbbell sculpt workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. I'm so glad you're here today for our 45 minute dumbbell sculpt workout. We are gonna be working the entire body today with low impact moves. So we won't be jumping any, but we will be using dumbbells for every move today. So I've got some light dumbbells all the way up to heavy dumbbells. I've got eight, 10, 15, 20, and 30 pound dumbbells. We'll be doing heavier moves for each muscle group and lighter moves. So things like flies, curls, pulses, kickbacks, and then things like goblet squats, chest press, bent over row. So make sure you've got options for both of those weight classes for yourself, whatever that number is today. Okay, also make sure before you head out today, you like the video as soon as you're done with it and comment below in the comments that you crushed it and encourage your teammate as well right above you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. Let's come on back to the very back of your mat. I'm gonna start with some inchworms. All right, you're gonna walk your hands out to a plank position in three, two, one. Here we go, walk it on out. Kick your left leg up and then walk back into your feet. Okay, walk it out, kick your right leg up. So we're just gonna incorporate a little hip flexor stretch here with your inchworms. Getting your arms warm, and then getting your hips warm as well. And I want you to do three each leg. There you go, when you get to the third one on that last leg, leave it up there, drop your back knee down and then place your hands right beside your front foot. You're gonna push up and back down. Up, straight legs, come on back down. So we're getting the hamstring when we straighten up and back to the hips when you go back to the floor. There you go, good, give me one more. And then when you bridge up straight leg, take that leg back, meet the other one, and we're just gonna switch over. All right, so straight leg, down to the floor, straight. And when you push those legs up straight, make sure you're pulling your toe back towards your knee. Good job. Hips are facing forward, right where your hands are. There you go, one more straight leg, come up top, stay straight leg, and kick both your feet back to the back of the mat. We're gonna shift left and right. Stretching your calves out. So shift your hip over top of your heel. Good job. And slowly walk it back into your toes. We're gonna roll up and roll right into cross body arm swings. There you go, big open chest. So excited you guys are here today. We've got a lot of variety in the workout today. Three rounds of 30 seconds per exercise, and we're gonna stay at that exercise so we're not supersetting. We're doing a circuit today. Okay, backwards arm circles with the left. Good. Keep your chest up, keep looking straight ahead. Switch directions with that arm, so now come forward. Good job, let's switch it over to the right arm. Backwards circles. There you go, we're gonna be grouping muscle groups together. So we'll start with shoulders, then we'll move down to a little lower body, legs, glutes, quads, hamstrings. Switch directions with your arm. Then we'll go into some abs, then we'll go into glutes and back, and we'll finish out with some arms. All right, so let's hinge it back and forth, just a couple more stretches. Engage your glutes here so we can get them activated. Got the shoulders warm, the hips, the legs. Good job. All right, let's rock into our very first move. We're gonna go in 10 seconds with three level shoulder presses. Okay, two arms together. You're gonna go one, two, three, down. Okay, let's go together in two, one, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good, 30 seconds right here. Now you can kind of figure this one out. Is this too light? Next round, do you want to go up a little bit? 
You're going higher with each pulse until you end up straight arms at the top. Five seconds, good job. And rest, perfect. All right, can you go a little heavier? Round one is always good to kind of feel the movement out, warm it up. Round two and three, it's your time to go. All right, so we're going again in four, three, two, one, let's go. Three pulses. Great work. I know this gets tough. You got 15 more seconds. <laughs> Quickly gets tough, huh? Five. Three, two, one. Rest, and we've got one more time through. And then we're sticking with some shoulders. So give me what you got left here. Make sure technique is number one. Five seconds. Last round, you're doing good so far. Two, one, let's do it. That's it, come on. You're right there. Last 15. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, sticking with the shoulders, we're gonna go front raise, side raise. So you're gonna alternate, one goes front, one goes side. All right, so you're here, down, and switch. All right, let's go together. Two, one, here we go. One goes to the front, one to the side, and you switch every rep. And I want you to keep your arms Slightly rounded. Okay, so make sure you're not locking your elbows out. Good work. Give me four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, shoulders. I know it's getting tired. We've got this exercise, one more rear delt exercise, and then we're done with shoulders, okay? So stay with me here. Round number two. Three, two, one, let's go. One to the front, one to the side. Make sure you're not shifting here. All about getting stronger, really challenging your muscles today. Sculpting those muscles on all different planes of motion, different combos. Beautiful. Nine, eight, five, four, Two, one, rest, great job. One last round, if you can go up, let's do it. If you need to go down to maintain form, do that as well, okay? Your best round right here. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, you just need to come to chest level. Keep a tight core. 15 seconds, come on. Whoops, forgot one of my arms there. <laughs> Seven, six, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Come on down to the floor and grab your lightest dumbbell set, okay? All right, so left knee is out front. Right hand has the dumbbell. I'll go ahead and switch it over so you can see here. All right, so right knee is out front, left arm has the dumbbell. I'm gonna turn my hand so I'm facing backwards and bend my elbow. Okay, so my dumbbell is right beside my inner thigh. I'm gonna hook and draw backwards. Okay, just the left arm on this first round. Ready? Two, one, here we go. Hook, draw back. I wanna hit shoulder blade, I wanna hit rear delt. So the back of the arm, right here and right here. And if this is too light, feel free to go up. You've got 30 seconds on this arm. Keep your chest facing down. That's it, four, three, two, one, rest and switch. 
Okay, different leg, different arm. Swing around this way. Last round, we'll stand up and do them both together, but this round, let's just switch arms. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Keep your chest facing down. You've got your forearm here on your front knee to balance. Hook and squeeze right here. You should feel it right here. Good job. Seven, six. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Last round, grab both of those dumbbells. All right, you're gonna go fist together and draw back. Here, back. It won't be a huge range of motion, just so with that squeeze right here, okay? Two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Good work. Come on. Six. Almost there. Three, two, one. Great job. You've got your first 30 second rest. We are done with shoulders. And we're moving down to legs. We're going to go goblet squat, Romanian deadlift. Okay? So take one of your heavy dumbbells. Holding it kind of front squat style. All right, you're gonna go one squat, one deadlift. On your deadlift, you have the option to do two legs or you can release and do one leg, okay? Come back up, squat, release, one or two legs, okay? All right, let's grab those dumbbells. We'll go together in 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. All right, here we go. Four. Two, one, let's go. Good, one or two legs. You can stagger that one leg, or you can float it, or you can keep both legs on the ground. Just wanna target quads, and then glutes and hamstrings. Good job, three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, now round two. If you're doing this single leg, we're just floating the right leg. Okay, so you're gonna squat, right leg, squat, right leg, okay? If you're doing both legs, same thing. Do the same thing round number two. Ready, let's go. Perfect, you got this, come on. Almost there, give me five, four, two, one, rest. Same thing on the other leg. If you're doing two legs, just keep doing the same thing. If you're going single leg, we're floating the left this time. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Good work, keep your core tight. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Woo. Next one, you've got curtsy lunge and lateral raise. So you're gonna grab one dumbbell again, a lighter dumbbell. You're taking that back leg. You're gonna go back, raise to the side, put it down. Go back, raise to the side, put it down. 10 seconds, we'll go together. All right, here we go. Alternating on that first round. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy back, lift the heel out, place it down, that becomes your front leg. Really want you to flex your toe up towards your knee, lead up with the heel. 
Good job. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now we're just taking the right leg. Okay, so curtsy lunge, right leg, put it down. Curtsy, right, put it down, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. If you can go straight back into it, that's fine as well. Make sure that front heel stays down. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, same thing with the right, or the left leg. All right, we're going back, and then you're leading out with that heel, using those glutes. Really lift with your glute. If you're going way up here, it's not glued anymore. Lift here to the side. Two, one, let's get it. Good job. Squeeze that glute on the lift. 15. Beautiful. Eight, seven, come on, we got it. Three, two, one. And rest, beautiful job. Next one, we've got lunge and kickback. So you're probably gonna wanna grab a lighter dumbbell. Okay, you're gonna go reverse lunge, pressing that back leg off the floor right into a kickback, okay? So take my right foot, for example. I go back, I press forward over my front leg, lift, okay? And then I come up and switch. Lunge back, lean forward, lift. All right, let's go together. Two, one, here we go. Step back, lift, put it down, switch. Good job. Good, round number two, we're just gonna do the right leg. Okay, but make sure when you press forward, you're in that deadlift position. Good job, four, three, two, one, rest. Same thing, just the right leg goes up. Okay, so for this one, if you know, only right leg is moving. You can drop your dumbbell down here. Right leg, here, okay? Let's go in two, one. Here we go, step it back. Push off the back leg, lift, come up top. Good, I want you to finish that cycle. Perfect. Really dig that front heel down. Squeeze that top glute. Five, four. One more, two, one, rest. Same thing with the other side. All right, still with me, still moving well? Okay, left leg goes back, we lift it, and then we stand back up to complete that cycle for our front leg, okay? Here we go, two, one, step it back, lean forward, lift, complete the lunge. Good job. Good. Almost there. 10. Perfect. Four, three, two, one, and rest. And you've got your second 30, 45 second rest. Big deep breath. All right, we're gonna go into some core now. So if you need a little mat to put down on top of your mat or on your floor, or cushion or anything like that for your tailbone. We're gonna start with dumbbells on our chest, doing sit-ups, okay? Nothing too complex here, but I know if you have a tailbone issue, you'll need some extra padding. Okay, so we're gonna lay that dumbbell on our chest, heels are down. You're gonna come up, pulse, back down. Up, pulse, so just a little extra squeeze up top here. Okay, let's go together in three, two, one, 
Here we go, heels down, sit up, squeeze pulse, back to the floor. Finish the sit up, lift, squeeze, come back. Now if you need a modification, maybe you just squeeze one leg. Sit up, squeeze one leg. That's totally fine. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Now we're just gonna flatten that right leg out. Left leg stays here. You're gonna sit up, twist over. Down, sit up, twist over, okay? Right leg does nothing. Left leg stays and we twist to it. Two, one, let's go. Give me a good crunch, okay? Don't just swing up there. Put resistance on your abs by using this dumbbell to hold you back, not help you up. Four, come on, give me one more. Three, two, one, rest. And we're doing the same thing to the right leg. So left leg is now flat, idle, not being used. We're coming up, twist to the right. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Hold the dumbbell. You hear me breathing, I need you to do the same thing. Good job. Woo. Eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Let's place the dumbbell right under your left hand in a plank position, okay? You're gonna reach under your body with your right hand, grab it, pull it across, okay? And then keep switching. We're gonna pull across, pull across, all right? We'll go in 10 seconds. So you're reaching under your body, pull across, place it down. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Pull under, switch. Now the goal here is to never move your hips. Good job, if you need a modification, maybe drop down to your knees, or maybe forget the dumbbell, just reach under, tap, reach under, tap, okay? Either way, we're working our core. Two, one, rest. Good job, same thing. One more round, this time only moving the left hand. So you're gonna take the left hand, pull over, pull under. Over, under, okay? Two, one, keep the dumbbell on the left, let's go. Touch out, touch under. Now as you touch under, challenge yourself to drop whew, that left hip. Almost there, eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest. Perfect, same thing with the right arm. If this is super tough, I'm with you, I feel you. You can do it, okay? If you need to modify and drop the weight, touch, touch, that's okay too. Ready, let's go in two, one, come on, let's get it. there. Woo. I know, keep those abs pulled up and in. Don't move the belly button. Keep it right there for four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab some water. You're doing great. Three Russian twists and one around the world. So we're going to go with the lighter dumbbell. All right, so you're taking left, right, left for your Russian twist. All right, so I'll start here on the left and show you. Left, right, left. Take it from the left behind your head and back to the chest. Okay, 
Ready? Let's go. Three Russian twists. Take it around. Come back. Right, left, right. Back behind. And I want to challenge you to keep that lean as you go behind your head and come back in. Woo. Good job. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Great job. The challenge is when you take it around the world, your core is still working, right? Even as I demo that, my core is shaking. All right, round number two. Let's go in three, two, one. Three twists, take it back. Great work. Keep breathing as I just found myself not doing. Nine, eight, five, take it back, four, three, two, one, rest. Ah, we've got one more round of that. After this, we're moving on to the glutes. We're gonna isolate the glutes here. So, one more round, you ready? Heels down, lean it back, three, let's go, two, one, come on. Take your time around the world. Remember, if you're around the world, your core is working hard still. That's it. Keep it under tension. You've got eight, seven. Stay leaned back. Three, two, one. And 30 seconds rest. Amazing job. Whew. We're gonna go plie stance, sumo RDLs. Okay, so grab the heavies, nice and wide with your legs and your toes are just a little bit externally rotated. Okay, meaning facing out to the side. All right, in 10 seconds, we'll go together. I want your dumbbells to be facing your legs. All right, you're coming here, digging the heels down. Hinge forward in two, one. Let's go. And keeping the knees just a little bit bent. And you're digging the outer edge of your heel into the floor. Shoulder blades are pulled back and down like you're trying to tuck them in your back pockets. Beautiful. Eight, seven, two, one, rest. Great job. Two more rounds of that. So if you want to go up, grab those heavier dumbbells. <sighs> Beautiful job. Five seconds, big deep breath. <sighs> nice tight back. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Make sure you're not craning your neck. You're looking down right where your dumbbells are going. Flat back for nine, eight, pull the shoulder blades back down towards your tailbone. Four, three, squeeze the booty, two, one, rest. Great job. Last round. Make sure you're using weights that challenge you, right? Those glutes are strong, trust me. You gotta make them work to keep growing them. Three, two, one, last round, let's get it. Good. Exhale on your way up. You've got eight, seven, three, two, one. Beautiful job. And we're taking a very light dumbbell now. Or your glute resistance band if you want to use that, the light one. We're taking the fire hydrant from the side to the back. Okay? All right. <laughs> Big deep breath first, right? So you're taking that leg, put your dumbbell right behind your knee, clamp it. You're gonna tuck your toe just like this. You're taking it to the side, to the back with a little lift. Side, back, lift. 
side, back lift, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Toe stays pulled towards your knee. Think about sweeping it to the side, you're still high. Sweep it to the back, little lift, side, back, little lift. Good, notice how my knee is staying flat here. One level, so I'm not dropping it down here. Okay, it stays up. Two, one, good. 10 seconds and we'll get back on track with our time. Switch it to the other leg. Okay, same thing. Let's go in three, two, one. All right, fire hydrant. It stays here. Good. Don't drop your knee the whole time. That little heel pulse at the back just takes it higher. You don't drop it. Good work. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, good job. Grab both of those light dumbbells and we're just gonna alternate fire hydrants, okay? Three on the left, three on the right. So you're gonna pulse, 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 okay? Let's go in two, one, lift it out. Three, two, one, switch. Good, nice wide hands, nice tight belly. That's it, come on. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You've got 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna take it down to a glute bridge with a B stance or a staggered stance. All right, so one dumbbell laying down on your back. Put that dumbbell on your hips. And you're gonna take one foot ahead of the other just by about a half of a shoe length, like this. Okay, I'm gonna stay up and pulse here. So eight seconds, we'll go together right here. Okay, two, one, let's go. You're moving about an inch left, or I'm sorry, up and down. Just keep those glutes squeezed together and then just squeeze a little tighter. Good job, heels are down, cheeks are squeezed together. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven. Give me five more pulses right here. Four, three, two, one. Rest lower and switch feet. So you're not that far apart, okay? My feet are not extended way out here. They're just a little bit staggered, okay? Same thing in three, two, one. Let's go. Come up, stay up, lift, lift, lift. See how I'm, you can barely tell that I'm even dropping at all, right? Perfect, come on. Give me 10 more seconds, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, three, <laughs> two, one, rest. Both heels are down together, no stagger here. Same thing, you're just staying up. Little pulses. Oh boy, the cheeks are burning. Let's go in four, three, heels down, two, one, push it up, stay here, boom. You're barely moving up, 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 up. That constant tension is what's going on. Your cheeks are squeezing together as hard as you can. Heels are digging into the floor. Don't arch your back any. Give me 10 more seconds, ready? Don't stop until I say down. Two, one, down. Woo, great job. <laughs> okay, grab some water. We're moving right along, guys. We're moving on to the back now. We're done with glutes. I think more appropriately, our glutes are pretty much done now. Whew. Okay, single arm row for the first move. 
<sighs> okay, I'm gonna take one of my heaviest dumbbells. Okay, I'm standing behind it. I'm gonna step up with my left leg, row with the right. Put it down, switch, right here, okay? Let's go together in three, two, one. Step up, flat back, row. Switch, flat back, row. If you're not comfortable going all the way to the floor, just keep it right here. Row, stand up and switch, okay? Some people don't feel good coming all the way from the floor, and that's okay. And rest, good job. Whew. Same thing, two more rounds. We're gonna keep that alternating move going. Adjust if you need to, heavier, lighter. We're going again in four, three, two, one. Let's go, step. Row back, like you're trying to take your elbow back to your tailbone. Beautiful job. And this way you've also got your hand up front here on your knee to support your back. So you can go a little heavier than if I were making you hold your dumbbells mid-air, right? Two, one, rest. Last round, same thing. 10 seconds. Keep alternating. Nice strong backs, right? Good posture. Three, two, one. Step up. Let's go. Make sure your back is flat at the top of that row so you're not rotated here. It's facing the floor. Your elbow is going straight back towards your tail. Perfect. Seven, six, two, one. Rest, good, 30 seconds rest. You look amazing. We're gonna go Superman side arm scap pull. Scap just means your shoulder blades. Okay, so if you feel good about it, body weight or dumbbells, I'll leave it up to you. Okay, we're on our stomach. We're in a Superman and we're at a 90 degree angle with our arms right here. See how my shoulder blades are pulled back? That's what I want. If you can hold dumbbells, you're just holding them stationary, isometric, right here. If not, still give me that squeeze. Ready? Let's go in four, three, two, one. All right, shoulder blades back. Good. Just breathe right here. Shoulder blades, I want them aiming towards the middle of your back. So don't be shrugging, okay? Notice there's a difference in here and here. Pull them back. You've got eight, seven, three, two, one. Rest. Great job. Round number two, you ready? Seven seconds. Body weight is fine. Just give me that shoulder blade squeeze right around your mid spine. Two, one, let's lift. Fifteen more seconds, let's go. Come on back muscles, you're strong. Almost there, six, five, three, two, one, rest. <sighs> the eights are a little heavy, so give me all you've got here. We're almost there. Last round. Big deep breath in and out. Three, two, one. Shoulder blades back and down. Let's go. Perfect. Come on, come on. We're right there. Last 15 seconds right here. Squeeze. Good. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, beautiful job. 30 seconds rest. We're going into long rows, okay? So long, alternating rows with a pulse. Okay, just a little extra pump at the top. We're gonna go right arm only. So hands are over your shoulders and then take a step back. So you've got that extended arm. Your hand is not under your shoulder, but extended here. You're gonna put your hand right in front of your face. Pull here, one, two, back down. Okay, just a little pulse. Ready? Let's go. Good, get it back there and then just a little bit higher. You've got eight, seven, three, two, one, rest. All right, other arm, just roll it right over. Move these out of the way here. Okay. You're doing great, ready? Four, three, and let's go. A little pulse at the back, get it back there. A little bit higher with your elbow. Good, it's just kind of like what we just did, that scap, extra little scap, pull. Good, four, three, two, one, rest. And now we're gonna alternate. 15 seconds on that first arm. And then we'll switch over 15 seconds on your second arm. Okay, so we're not alternating. I said alternating. Splitting it in half. 15 here, 15 here. Let's go in three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Good job. Four seconds and you're switching. Three, two, one. Put it down and switch. Let's go. Perfect, two, one, and rest. <sighs> You've got 15 seconds and we're gonna go for a one minute finisher. All right, we're gonna go hammer curl, press. <sighs> Sorry, let me grab the right dumbbells. Sorry, we'll go together in 15 more seconds. <laughs> hammer curl with the press. So you're coming here, curl, press, one, two, three. Down, curl, press, one, two, three. All right, let's go together in two, one. Here we go. Curl, press, open your hands up. Slow, slow, slow. Good job, pull, 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 pull. Almost there. Good job. Last 30. I know it seems like it's already been a minute. So now you're working on the eccentric part of that shoulder press. Slow, 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 slow. There you go, 10 more seconds. Perfect, five. Four, keep your dumbbells right here when you're done. Three, two, one, drop one dumbbell. Give me a plie squat. You're staying right here for a minute. This is it. Knees are out, heels are down, toes are even pulled up if you can. You're staying right here, this is it. Inner thighs should be feeling it, especially down in your hamstrings here. The more you press your knees out and your heels down, and pull your abs in like you're zipping up your belly button, the more you're gonna feel it back there. Good, don't even think about moving. Don't even think about standing up taller. Whew. Good. There we go. 15 more seconds, stay lower and hold. No pulse, just stay, stay, stay. Right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, don't lift, five, four, three, two, 
one, drop your dumbbell, lift those hips up. You have made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Walk it over to your right leg for me. Bend it, if you can sit down on top of it, and then roll this left toe up towards the ceiling so you feel that stretch here. Give you a really good cool down here. Let's switch it over to the other side. So press up, come over to the other side, sit, and rotate that toe up so you feel it right here, right? Whew. All right, come up in the middle, straight legs, toes are pointed forward. Just relax your body, let your head hang. Grab onto your elbows so you're right between your biceps with your ears. Slowly roll that up. Great job. Bring your arms up overhead. Clasp your fingers together. Stretch it like you're trying to pull your arm as far over to the other side as you can. Beautiful. Let's switch it over. Great work. Go ahead and let your arms down. Grab onto your left foot for me. Pull your heel to your glute. Whoop. And if you need to grab onto a wall, just in case you fall, you can, or something beside you. No big long speech today. I just want you to be proud of yourself. Okay, I think sometimes we get all caught up in what's going on, what we have to do, what we should be thinking. Just take a second, proud of yourself. That's the only thought I want you to have in your mind. I'm proud of me. Proud of how hard I've worked. Proud of what I've come through. Proud of finishing this workout right here. All right, I'm proud of myself for showing up. Proud of myself for eating the right things, as tough as it may be. I'm channeling this to you, right? As tough as it may be, I'm proud of eating the way that I know makes me feel best and I know gets me closer to my goals. I'm giving this energy to you right now. As tough as it is, I know, I know it's warm. You want comfort food, you want holiday food. Let yourself, treat yourself to that, but stick to your core nutritious food. Nutrient dense food, all the veggies, all the lean protein, all the water. Okay, we're coming off a holiday where we're eating so many salty foods. Now it's transitioning into sweets foods. Water, 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 okay? Control those temptations and let yourself have a treat every now and then, but 80% of the, the nutrients that you should be consuming should be from veggies, lean proteins, dairy, eggs, okay? Whatever your eating preferences is. I don't wanna put that on you if that's not what you eat as far as eggs or dairy, but just know you need to have nutrients in your diet. Don't skip meals and save up, all right? I know that's, that's a whole other tangent, nutrition in the holidays, and I talk about that a lot in the Sydney Squad and how to tackle it. So if you're interested in staying accountable this holiday season and rolling into the new year, not ready to restart, but rolling into the new year, ready to keep that momentum going, definitely join me in the Sydney Squad. I'm, cha I'm channeling all of this energy into educational talks, okay? So I've got you there, but let's just take this second, be proud of you. Be proud of all that you accomplished this year. 2019 is almost over. I want you to look back and I want you to learn. Be proud of everything you got through, everything you faced, everything that challenged you because you're here today knowing that whatever came at you, you got through it. Okay, you did this today. This is a big deal. Keep showing up for yourself. Even when it gets hard, you are a priority. Do not settle, okay? You are a priority and I am so proud of you for being here today. I know it's tough but I know you could be doing so many other things and you are here and I'm proud of you. So make sure, like I challenged you to do at the beginning, you comment below that you crushed it and tell your teammate, good job, whoever commented right above you, go there and tell them, great job, and give this video a thumbs up if you use the workout to let me know that you're using them and subscribe to the channel and tell a friend to subscribe to the channel if you're using the workouts and you haven't yet, just take a little bit of extra time and subscribe. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers and I know this family is just gonna keep growing. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I am proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Bye, guys.